Welcome to week five of 15 of the 2021 tax season, or at least I hope it's 15 weeks. I haven't heard anything as of the recording date of this video that they were extending any of those dates. I'm really hoping they don't. I'd like to have a somewhat normal tax season this year, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Today, we're going to talk about insurance, primarily because this is one of those places where people believe that all insurance is tax deductible. And that's actually not true. There are some insurances that are legitimate business expenses that are tax deductible, such as general liability, workers' comp, and professional insurance. But then there are others that are not considered business expenses at all, even though they are important, and others that are legitimate business expenses, but just aren't tax deductible. So an example of one that is not really considered a business expense is if an example, you're in a partnership like I am with my partner, Nicole. So I have an insurance policy for which I am the beneficiary of that policy on Nicole and vice versa. So we are actually beneficiaries of each other's life insurance policies. And we did that to protect each other in case one of us is unable to perform our job for whatever reason. Now, what's important about that is that we're each the beneficiary of those tax, or I'm sorry, those insurance policies, which means the company is not, the company does not get that money. So while it's an important thing to have when you are in a partnership, it's actually not a legitimate business expense in any way. It's not something you would show on your P&L. We have the business pay for it, but it is still considered a draw because ultimately the business is not the one that receives that money. And the other example I gave you where it's a legitimate business expense, but it is not tax deductible is another one that we have, which is called key man insurance. Now, key man is life insurance on the key people in the business in which the business is the beneficiary of any potential distributions from that insurance policy. It's there to protect the business and the people working there so that we can replace that person if they are unable to do their job for whatever reason. And that distribution is generally tax free, which is why we can recognize it as a legitimate business expense on the P&L. It's just not a tax deductible expense because the government is not going to allow us to have a double whammy in terms of tax benefits. We don't get the tax deduction for the premiums because we don't get taxed on any distributions should they happen. Now that is also the case for most part on the other types of insurance as well, the general liability and the workers comp, but not always. So if you are receiving a distribution of insurance for any means whatsoever, then you need to go ahead and get together with your CPA to make sure there isn't going to be a tax impact of those distributions, or at least make sure that you're working within the rules or planning for a tax impact that may happen. So again, one of those things that seems simple, but not always. So hopefully this clears it up a little bit. And next week, we're going to be talking about meals. I know I've done a video on that in the past, but it's just one of those things that is always confusing. It's never clear cut and it's always based on just perception and, you know, it's a unique case by case. So we'll be talking about that next week. If you have any questions, reach out. Contact information is always on the end and we'll see you then. Take care.